Hello and welcome. Zevlin here. Let's play a little bit of Crusader Kings 2. I decided to switch it up a little bit from EU4, waiting for the new expansion to come out. I don't want to get anything started, especially Iron Man save. Uh, I'd rather start something new when that expansion comes out. So instead, new Charlemagne expansion came out uh, about a week ago, I believe, for Crusader Kings 2. Now, I haven't played this in years. Uh, basically, since it first came out, I played a little bit of vanilla. Um, I think once uh, the new Norse expansion came out, I bought it and played it maybe one game. Um, so I'm not that knowledgeable. Uh, I've watched a few videos. I have an idea of what I'm doing. Um, mostly just wanting to play because I did enjoy it. Uh, it is what got me into Europe Universalis, actually, as I liked this game. And I was looking for something a little different, and I saw some videos of Europa Universalis 3, and her 4 was coming out. So as soon as 4 came out, I grabbed it up, and I've been hooked ever since. So this has kind of gone on the back burner, because it's similar-ish. Uh, so, because both of them take up a lot of time, I don't have time to play both of them as extensively as I'd like to. But let's give this a try. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and go for the earliest start, and I'm actually going to skip all this. So this is the new uh, custom selection thing, so you can kind of pick different characters and stuff. I'm just going to go for the custom game setup, go to the earliest start, and I believe I want to start somewhere over here in Ireland, a very early start of Ireland. Now I've played the Ireland starting at Stamford Bridge um, but not this early and what's kinda interesting is they're tribal so you got a few different things going on that you wouldn't normally have uh, I was thinking about playing somewhere over here that may be interesting I'm not sure I mean you have some rather large neighbors but the rest of this is pretty I am uh, fragmented, I guess would be the word. Problem is, is you are surrounded by Norse and they will come and raid the heck out of you. But that could be fun. Maybe a different playthrough. But I have kind of looked around here in Ireland and it doesn't really seem to matter, you know, where you might play. I'm thinking Dublin. Is why not? Let's just jump up and let's just play. All right, so we start out. We're completely. We have no merit. We have an heir. And you know what? I think I'm kind of thinking those clicks are a little loud here. Let me go to the audio options. Let me turn that effect volume back down in line. That, that just sounded loud to me. I don't know how loud it's going to be in the recording. Um, so we have one holding. Uh, this right here would be the Duchy of Dublin, so we could create the Duchy title if we had both of these. Uh, we do have, let's see, we are a gavel kind. We could get, uh, as soon as we're, we've reigned for 10 years, we could get elective gavel kind. So instead of it just automatically going to our oldest son, we could choose, let's say our younger son is better. I think I'm going to do that if I live for 10 years. Um, as soon as that becomes available, I'm going to do that. What I am going to do, this tribal organization, I'm going to raise that up. I want to be able to actually rule my tribe, obviously. So I'm not sure if I'll go to max or not. Um, I'm thinking medium for sure. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Let's. But we can only raise this once every 10 years, so let's just go ahead and do that right off the bat. I'm going to glance through these and make sure there's not anybody that's better. Let's see. He's 17... Uh, nope, absolutely not. 12, nope. There's another one with 12. Uh, my son is my marshal, so I will leave him at 9. And let's see, spy master, there's not one better. Great, okay. Uh, and learning is 9 is the highest. So, a couple of things I didn't remember before. I don't know if it's new when it came exactly. Like I said, it's been a long time. Uh, this build legend button seems new to me. So, and the settle tribe thing seems new too. It's a way to culture convert, I believe. We may have to play with that a little later because I do plan on basically creating Britannia. Um, 
but we'll see. Like I said, I'm pretty rusty. So let's go ahead and do this build legend. Um, it just gives me extra prestige, which is pretty cool because prestige isn't entirely worthless anymore. Um, it's not just basically a score. I should say it's not worthless. I mean, some people play to just get as much prestige as possible, which, you know, is, could be fun. But you can actually use it to buy buildings now. So I will be using it to buy buildings. So I want to build that up so I could buy buildings. So, uh, let's go back to our council. I only assigned one person. I'm going to go ahead and let's look at our vassal. Let's see, does he like me? Not enough. I want his money, so I am going to go back to council. Oh my gosh, I am totally lost where things are right now. I am going to improve religious relations with himself, basically. I'm going to scheme in the capital. I would study technology, but I'm not a, a duchy level title, so I actually can't do that. I am going to... Well, this is new, so I have a choice. I don't need to suppress rebels, but I could train troops and get levy size higher. That would be good. Or I can organize a raid, and what that does is it has a chance to basically give me event spawn troops. Now, I'm going to do that because the first thing I'm going to do is fabricate a claim over here on this guy. And see if I can get that duchy created before I die. I don't know, I am kind of old. Uh, it may or may not happen. It may be better for me to wait until I die because of the Gavilkin. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, can't do anything here. I'm not producing any points because I'm not a Dutch. Sorry, a Dutch. <laughs> I'm not Dutch, I'm Irish. Um, I'm not a ducal level title. And I say level title because I'm not actually... Those aren't actually the names of the titles because we're a tribe. Um, we are the tribe of Dublin. So, military screen. Let's see, there's some re uh, decisions. Now, I'm interested in this, see, because we are tribal. We can found a merchant republic, possibly. Or adopt feudalism and play kind of how we want to. So we may be looking into that a little later. I'm not sure which way I would want to go with that. Uh, there's no factions, of course. Religion. Here's the Pope. Um, yep, yeah, great. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, let's look at an ambition. I'm going to go ahead and grab this get married ambition. And I'm going to go ahead and get married. Let's just sort by something and see if any good traits pop to the top. Oops. Thrifty clerk, fortune builder. I'm really kind of looking for like ambitious. I think I can search by those now. There we go. There's ambitious. But I'm not sure if I actually want that or not, considering I'm not elective yet. I might want her for my son, actually. So let's actually go to her diploma. Let's see if we can arrange a marriage for her. And let's see if we can arrange... Yes. Let's marry our son to her. Detached priest isn't the best. Oh, well. Let's get some ambition in our bloodline. Alright, and for me... Where am I weak at? Well, actually, I'm weak pretty much everywhere. Um, what am I? Flamboyant schemer. Alright. Let's grab the stewardship person. Princess of Lombardia. Excellent. Send. I may actually get an alliance out of that. That would be awesome. Okay, unmarried heir, unmarried ruler. We have taken care of that. We have taken care of our council. They're all busy. I have them up right here. Um, laws. I clicked a button. I think it's time to just let some time tick. And actually start playing the game a little bit. So we'll see what events pop up. Alright, right off the bat. 
our son's gotten married. I can gain one gold or 50 prestige. Well, since prestige is basically it's a lot of prestige, um, I'm going to take the prestige so I can build a building with it. Okay, she arrived in our court. That's to be... All right, suggested, or er, he approved. All right, I uh, got the ambition. Let's see what else I can do. Where I could raise my stewardship one point fairly easily. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, my wife is in my court. She doesn't like me much because of the short reign. Um, short reign is going away for her so her short reign will go away eventually the short reign penalty I'm not too worried about that she likes me enough let's speed it up a little bit here and I'm hoping this claim fabricates pretty fast see I'm making very very little money Okay, I'm starting to think that uh, Catch might fancy me. Oh, cashed, I guess. Uh, let's see, gain piety, or go to her chamber. Order to take the vows. Word honorary title, imprison. I think. I could take her as a concubine. I wonder what would happen if I take her first. She's an Irish noble. Alright, her ambition is to get married. I just took her as a concubine. I'm sorry. Let's make a move. Uh-oh. Well, anyway. She still pretty much loves me. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, already improved relations. So let's go back to the council. Let's do something else with him. Let's move him down to improve relations with the Pope. That might be useful. Uh-oh. Well, that was fast. Well, that is unfortunate. That was way too fast. I think I may end up having to play as my son. We'll see how long I tick around as being infirm. Like I said, rather unfortunate because now I'm definitely not going to. I should probably just let it go and raise some piety. I don't see any point in taking it, to be honest, because if I take it, I'm just going to lose it to... Well, I do only have one son right now. Let's use it. And I'll wait for some event spawn troops, and maybe I'll get lucky and I won't actually have any children. So we're going to be a fairly equal power. He has 327 troops. And I have 358 troops. And right off the bat, alright. Oh, oh, yep, that's my son. Well, now if I take it, it's just going to get split up anyway. So I probably won't be doing that. I'll probably just be waiting until I die to move any further. Uh oh. The world is a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your son, Flan. Well, Flan's not a bad guy. He's a mastermind theologian. This is worrying. Um, let's look at Intrigue. 
So what I'm going to do is counsel. Yeah, he's scheming. He should he should be catching that plot. And this guy's finished his thing. If I don't claim it in war, it doesn't pass on, unfortunately. I think I may. Alright, she's pregnant again. Alright. I think I may. F oh. I think I missed a call to arms. I'm playing a little too fast. I may speed that down to four. Uh, well, there we go. How about we go ahead and. Well, I may as well fabricate a claim here. Let's merge them up. Let's. Declare war here. Press this claim. He's an ally. Oh well. It'll cost me some prestige. I'm not too worried about it. Let's see, I'm leading that flank. I'm gonna put him there and him there. I may as well raise up my armies as well. Now, I don't know if I'm going to take this or not. My plan is basically to white piece, but we'll see. I just want to give the claim to my son, basically. And we'll play some ping pong. See if we can eventually crush them. There we go. Wow, already? Okay, sweet. Let's use it. Let's see. December 30th, 17th. Eh, pretty soon I'll be able to move him. I'll have to try and remember to move him. I could call allies. I don't think I'm going to. Really? I imprisoned him. I don't even need to siege. I'll lose prestige if I do that. I'll enforce. Yeah, we'll take it. Why not? And another thing we'll do is, well, first let's go to our military. Let's lower. Let's uh, think about attacking them too. If we have enough holdings, then my direct heir will actually inherit more things. And that's the point, as I want to be at least two counties so that I can have the upper hand against all these single county people. And that'll help me. Let's see. Call to arms. Yeah, yeah, we'll accept. And I'd love to be able to create this title, but I'm not going to have enough money in this lifetime, basically. So... How much longer until I can do this? I wonder. Eh, I'm not at peace. Let's see, what was I doing? I still have a little while before I can do this. And great, another sun. So I'm just going to be splitting all this up for sure anyway. Uh, the raiding party at my court gained, uh, gathered up to fight for me. have grown tired of my <laughs> effeminate pacifism and have gone home to their wives. Well, I was just at war. That doesn't make sense. Must not have been at war long enough for them. Alright, well, let's look. I think I have people in my... Hmm. What am I doing? Intrigue? Military? Mercenary? No. Intrigue. That's right. Prisoners. Oh, I must have let them go. I don't have any available plots. There's not really much to do. If I take another county, it's just going to be split up amongst my sons, which would probably be fine. I could choose an ambition, have a daughter, become a leader among men. That's not going to happen. Mass wealth, not going to happen. Yeah, I'm not going to pick an ambition because I don't really want to increase my fertility basically is what this does. 
And I don't want to do that because I don't want a bunch more suns. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and press this claim then. Is it time? Yeah. Okay, I can move him. Let's... Improve relations. I don't know. I don't really know what to do with them. Let's sow dissent over here in one of our rivals. So they're pretty big. I don't want them to be strong. So let's sow dissent there. I don't know if that's worthwhile or not, but I don't have anything else to do with him right now. It's unfortunate. I did a really quick test playthrough, and I actually lived for quite a while, and didn't become infirm within the first few months of the game. Suppose I could declare war on them. Let's see, what do I... Wait for some more event spawn troops, I suppose. Wait for this. Yep, wait till October. Wait for that to go away, get some more troops. Okay, new pope. Okay, that's great. Not even sure, oh, West Francia. Mm-hmm, nope, not gonna fight them. Nothing I can do to help you there. Yeah, of course he did. I wouldn't want to be fighting West Francia right now. The Kingdom of Italy. Oh, he did not mess around. The ancient Lombard Kingdom was established in Italy after a long history of migration originating in Northern Europe. Okay, um... Yep, okay, cool. That is just getting huge. Would really like to press this claim. I suppose I just wait for this to get a little bigger. Hopefully get some event spawn troops, I guess. I'm not sure it really matters. Could probably just take them. Um, let's look. What is my... I have 520 total troops versus... Okay, cool. My marshal has gathered up a great host of raiders. All right, there we go. Not even gonna look. You, let's just declare war. I could call allies, I don't think I'm going to. Let's go to military and raise troops. Gather you guys up. And make sure I have somebody leading. Let's put that guy in charge of that flank. Where are you going? Okay, this guy claims he would be a better steward. It's quite possible, actually. Um, so my son, who's rank 9 at stewardship, versus 11. I'll say give Flan a chance. I mean, he is my son. All right, again, let's see, 14 versus nine. But this dude is my court chaplain. I mean, is my uh, guy who's running my bishop, bishopric. Let's say give him a chance. 
And I'm going to march in here. Gather up some war score and prestige. What's this? Military tech points I could get? Hmm, interesting. Some more war score and prestige. My son has another daughter. Okay. And this guy is no longer chancellor for me. What happened to you? Oh, he died. Okay. So I need a new chancellor. Let's appoint a new chancellor. Let's see. Uh, they are all terrible. Why do you die? Died of pox. Well, I'm going to need a new chancellor soon. Yeah, let's siege down this stuff. What is this? This is nuts. Okay, the raiding party has grown tired of my effeminate passion, pacifism and gone home to their wives. Uh, what, why? I'm fighting. I'm in the middle of a war. You're sieging for me. What are you talking about? I guess I'm not raiding? I'm guessing that's probably it. Let's take this guy off this. And let's put him on train troops instead. I need... to... Let's do invite a holy man. Let's invite a couple people and hope we get somebody good. Let's go back to my council. Point... Nine. Okay, well, you're it. Well, he was dis sowing dissent over there. Very likely he was going to die. Um, fabricating more claims doesn't seem to make sense. Okay, so the Pope likes me again. So let's move him here. Make sure that guy likes me. Huh. I'm not sure what to do with them, really. Fabricate more claims. Doesn't seem to make sense, considering I'm going to have a bunch of sons. But maybe if I take a bunch of land, it won't get too spread out. Let's look at our laws. Can I do this yet? Nope, it hasn't been 10 years. Oh, it has been. I just need to be at peace. I'm no longer sieging this. Ah, oh, dang it. Well... Can I raise more troops? I can't. Let's move you there. Let's lower the troops. And I think I can raise more troops now. So let's move you guys down. See if that's enough. Lachlan is often involved in fights with other toddlers. So, I could say that's good news. I have a good chance to get proud. But also one of these, well, I wouldn't say Roth is too bad. Plus three Marshall, I mean, it's plus three traits. Proud, monthly prestige. See, cruel's kind of negative. I don't want cruel. It's only a 10% chance of getting cruel. Diligent, I believe, is really good. It is. But slothful is not. Uh, let's see, 50% chance to get cynical. I don't mind that. So both of these would be okay. Craven's bad. Proud. This one wouldn't be too bad. The Craven thing's pretty terrible. Trusting, I don't like. Humble. I'm not sure I like. I mean, it's monthly piety. I'm not sure. I don't really see a downside to any of these. This one is the lowest chance to get something bad. This one has a 25% chance of getting slothful. I really don't want that. I'm going to do this. That's good news. And he gained the cruel trait. Okay, then. Okay, well, there's a plot. So, let's...
Where do I see those? Known plots, right here. You want to kill my son. You know what? I don't think that would be so bad. <laughs> as cruel as that sounds. Um, I have too many children. I'm just going to ignore that one. I still can't siege this. Oh, crap. How many people do I need? A lot. Well, maybe I had to call allies. Let's see. Let's send that. Alright, he's coming. Good. Come help me siege. No, that's not helping me siege. It's standing there doing nothing. Well, anyway, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.